in today's episode of Pacific Drive. I read a blueprint. And that one, lovely. Complain about the weather. Oh boy, that is a lot of rain. And start talking to my car. You're okay, car, you're okay. It wasn't a bad one. Hello and welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Pacific Drive. My name is Sven. Thank you very much for joining me today. I hope you're doing well. Uh, so, we're back in my garage. Here we are. I've just emptied the friendly dumpster. I've noticed that the car over here has, like, got, um, one, two, three doors and two panels on it. Ripe for the taking. That's They're all steel as well. So, that is some tasty stuff that either I can grind up into steel plates here, or I can chuck in here. Now, I've got... Some steel panels and stuff already in here from our last trip ready to regenerate and a lot of the panels on the car here are brand new there's a couple here like that and they've got a little bit of damage on them they got a little bit of damage but nothing major the car is in otherwise good shape to go on another trip out into the zone i also am in good shape to go out to the zone it would appear but of course last episode we picked up a huge amount of energy well the, the most energy we've picked up i don't know if in the grand scheme of the game 6.2 stable energy is particularly huge but there we go uh so we've got some unlocking to do now i want to unlock some more storage here because we're actually now resorting to this this uh locker as the other two lockers that i have are already docker blocker now i can free up some space by getting the fax machine as well maybe scrapping those summer tires um we're not ever really going to use those again i don't think uh, but let's go ahead and unlock. Um, this is the expanded locker here. We'll confirm that. And that will give us uh, this guy. Which can go here. Or... Nah, let's put it in here. I like I like the idea of having it in here more than, than over there. So the garage, we're slowly upgrading uh, into a proper little base here. I tell you, I really love this part of the game. There is something called the parts locker as well which I do want to invest in, that requires unstable energy. And we're starting to see this unstable energy a little bit more now. Uh, the, the advanced workbench here, unstable energy. I suspect we're probably going to need the improved antenna, which requires 1.5. 1.5. That's a lot. Let's go ahead and get the fax machine here, because that's going to free up some uh, stuff. We need to research the circuit board to do that. No problem. That's over here. Circuit board. Confirm that and take that there we go we now make the circuit board lovely and that means that we can get the fax machine and that goes over here there we go and this just means that all these pieces here we need to pick up as many of these as we can here all of these clipboards that we picked up out in the zone. I believe they just go in here. Transmission, fragment. Ah, to open inventory. Uh, yeah, there we go. Uh, the man, and it, and it, that. Ta-da. Okay. Um, and then that, that's it, really. Okay, so we can see them in the logbook here. Um... I, I assumed that they'd print out in the, the fax machine uh, right here, but apparently not. So there we go. So we can get a, we can get an anchor radar. The enormous energy that anchors generate gives us an unmistakable, unique signature that could easily be detected with the right equipment, and this is that equipment. Um, so we've been detecting anchors reasonably easy, though. The car does it for us, so I don't know why we need an anchor radar as well. You know? There probably is a very good reason to have one. I'm not going to lie. There, there almost certainly is. Uh, so I will do want the um, relightable flare. I mean, to be honest, if we go out in daylight, it's much better. Side floodlights, you know, making the car headlights more better. I might unlock them when, when there's a need to. At the moment, I'm getting by okay. Uh, we can upgrade our tires. Ah, here we go. So the side racks. So that's a... We can fabricate another side rack, but... um. We need the side storage is what we need. We can scan that. Lovely. So that means we can now use our side racks, right? XL roof. We actually need to get the rack in and then we can get the storage on that rack. A little bit convoluted, I'll admit. Then we got fuel, large fuel can, side fuel tanks and backseat tanks, fuel synthesizers and stuff like that. I'm going to 
get this guy, the large fuel tank. Oh, excuse me. And that one, lovely. We did run out of fuel last mission, but it wasn't like dire. It wasn't like crazy dire. And the lightning rod, I think, I feel like that is going to be really freaking useful. Oh, <laughs> come back here. <laughs> it's trying to escape. Eh? Okay. Then we've got extra batteries as well. We got side batteries and mini turbines and loads of stuff here. Here we've got a Limbus emitter. This is not a pun. It's a carefully calibrated device capable of discharging randomly tightened electromagnetic pulses thousands of times per second. This generates this generator makes it extremely difficult for most organic and electronic electro organic entities to hold on or to harm the vehicle. I like this. I think this is an ability that we can add into the car. So you know all those like bunnies that keep like jumping onto my freaking car. This might be a good way of getting rid of them. So let's see if we can unlock that as well. I think that'll be useful. Um, and then we got like things like cattle prods stuff. The jump racks, resource radar, auto parker, nice, and a new engine, uh, which requires four a lot, a lot of uh, unstable energy there. So maybe we'll leave that for a little while. Right, one point eight stable. Oh, we need a circuit board. Sorry, let's go and craft a circuit board and see if we can get an enhanced radar. Um, to have a quick look at this, we've got we've got a lot of storms everywhere, basically. Now, the, the grey line or the brown lines here are where we've gone, and the dotted lines are where we haven't gone. So, I don't know where to go, but, I mean, the mission at the moment, as far as I'm aware, is to just go somewhere. Start new roads. That's the mission. we just got to go and do things. Uh, but let's go ahead. Oh, yeah, the circuit board, sorry. Let's go ahead and get the circuit board and the improved antenna and see what that does to the board. Circuit board. There we go. And improved antenna. And this goes on the roof. Like that. Oh. Boom. Oh yeah, that's that's improved. <laughs> Take your word for it. It's definitely improved, guys, for sure. <clears throat> right? Anyway, other things as well as we can improve uh, this guy. We can add more space in there for him as well. But that is pretty much all of our energy spent now. We've got 0.3 remaining. It means we're probably not going to be able to get anything of any um, significance anymore. Most of this stuff, this stuff requires uh, unstable energy. Like that, you see. So, yeah, I think we're pretty much done here. Next thing to do is to go for a drive. But let's see what the antenna's done. Has it done anything? So that's a two. We could try and go for uh, that guy there. That's just outside of this storm. The thing is, this storm might move. That's three hour drive. We have to go via E7. The other option is we go up to this guy up here. It's on the edge of a storm. Yeah, basically, any way we go, we're going to be on the edge of or in a storm. <laughs> So I think we're going to go with this one. It requires two cores to return home. Um, let's scan it. Disruptive discharge. Okay. It's got lefty, righty, sta stable anchors. Yeah, okay. Most of um, most of the stuff that we've already encountered, I think. So I don't think it's going to be particularly eventful. But blistering woods. Fogwood is the name. Junction G9. We have to go via E7 to get there. Um, so we'll see if we can collect the anchors on the way, as we did last time. And let's explore Bogwood. Mm, I think R is good to go. We have a med pack on us. Yeah, we've got mechanics kit, ceiling kits, an extra battery, some flares, an extra scrapper. We've got a med kit, some food on us. The usual affairs. So let's see if I can get another med kit. Oh, and let's see if we can get some of the upgrades that I've just unlocked as well. That would be that would be good, right? So med kit. Three med kits. Large fuel can. Yep. See if I can um do I take this one? Then what? Just <laughs> throw it on the ground. <laughs> and then um oh actually. I think what we can do is fill that up. 
Yeah, look at that. From the pumpy bump. That was a good one, right? And there we go. Let me put that in the fuel tank storage. Or not. The items risk of loss. I can't put that in the storage. So it has to go in the boxes. Okay. Means, um... I may as well keep that one then. Sorry, I thought that replaced that one, but clearly not. Good to know, good to know. Small fuel tank goes in there. Trunk gunk. <laughs> Trunk gunk. Um, and we've also got lightning rod, side storage, limb pulse emitter. Oops. What have I got? Ah, there we go. Oh, nice. Limb pulse emitter. Where does this go? This, this looks like a bumper. Ah, okay, yeah, it's the front and the rear bumpers. I thought so. Right, okay, so does it go on the bumper? Or does it replace the bumper? I think it goes on the bumper, guys. Hang on. Oh, yeah. That, that, that's a bumper, all right. Yep. Wow. That changes the look a little bit, doesn't it? <laughs> okay. Let's put that back in there, then. So where does my lightning rod go? I'm assuming the lightning rod goes on the roof, right? But I might need a roof rack to, 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 to do that. Lightning rod, rear left side rack or rear left side. Right, front left. I need a I need a side rack basically to put the lightning rod on. Okay. So you can go there then for a second. Let me craft another side rack. Side storage. Here we go. I'm gonna stick that on the other side. These things can go. Hey, what the hell have I just created? I created side storage, damn it. Side rack. I think the racks the racks you make in here. Crap. I can't get another expansion rack. Um I don't have the energy for it. So, okay. Well these guys are gonna just gonna have to wait then. Alright, we've got our side storage there, so that's good, I suppose. We've got a little bit more storage, which is great, because you know we've got this freaking great big fuel tank now, taking up a huge amount of space. Okay. Oh, the other thing was that the car had a quirk as well. So clearly a quirk. Now remember that because every time we put the car into park, the door opened, right? So this is, I haven't shown you this before, but essentially you go shifter, shifts into, is in, shifts to park, then front right door opens. Yes, that is my answer. And then good. Good guess. Correct diagnosis. And then your fixes. Um, no fix available. Oh. <laughs> oh, there's two other perks. Uh, quirks, rather. Okay. Mechanics kit. Yeah. Yes. Ooh, delicious. Front right door opens when shifter shifts into park. Fixed. Okay, so there's two other quirks that I've not noticed in the car yet. That also means that my mechanics kit has just been used up as well, so make another one of those. Brilliant. All right. Um, well, I have to keep an eye out for that. Apparently, works bar has gone off though, so I'm not sure. Anyway, we're going to go to this one over here. Fire E7. Hopefully just a quick stop to grab some anchors. Let's go. Alright, so... That shift, I think? F and space, yeah. So the impulse emitter is now on shift. Alright. We'll try that. Go. 
We're on the road again. Oh yeah, we're on the road again. It's getting dark, isn't it? God damn it. <laughs> E7 we've been to before, so there are four. There are four here. Four anchors, look. And a service station up there. But look at the uh, look at the hills. Wow. Wow. Okay. These anchors hopefully will be reasonably easy to get. We should be able to go off road to those two, and then two, so then we're out basically. All right. Oh boy, that is a lot of rain. That is a lot of rain. Holy crap. Alright, so go up or down? I'm thinking down. This is going to make visibility a little difficult. Go further along then before we go off road, I think. Past these vent things. alive and your remnants verified isn't that all you wanted now why are you two yapping about the mass hallucination when cappy amplified the remnant signal it triggered another hallucination event but it only lasted three seconds this time and, and not only that we picked up that its source was northwest of us specifically yeah somewhere in the deep zone <laughs> that's impossible it's been 40 years 40 years. Alright. Somewhere in the deep zone, huh? Oh, hello. Oh, dear. Oh, crikey. The car, the car, the car, the car. Oh. That stuff hurts the uh, car's armor and integrity, so. Uh, we need to go to the other side of these things, though. Do they dissipate? And that's not all. They look like they do. Hallucination wave that triggers. We picked up its waveform, and, and it turns out it's equal and opposite to the wave waveform. They're paired signals. It means they're related. And, and and what's more, if we bring that car to whatever this mass hallucination source is, we have a chance of nullifying the remnant and breaking its bond with the driver. A simple Whoa. interference. <laughs> this is insane. After all this time, we find a remnant, a uh, lean on the mass hallucinations of 61, and a possible way to free the driver? Pinch me, Francis, because this is the best thing that's happened in decades. Just who thinks we're getting gold? The remnants are the key to the mass hallucination. This whole time. Yes, and you nearly destroyed it. I... I need to go. Ah. This is you, Francis! We have so much work to do. I know. I've already pulled every report on the mass hallucination event. Uh, driver, listen, you stay safe out there. We'll report back to you once we've gone through all of this data. <laughs> There's a lot of it. And, 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 and be careful. Oppie's not in her right mind, okay? So, uh, you watch yourself. Okay, sure. Yeah. Thanks. Tourists seem to be lining up. I gotta light these things before I freaking throw the amount of times I've. And they all fall down. <laughs> bye bye. Alright, let's get out of here. Um, seem to be parking themselves in front of my freaking car as well, which is always helpful. Okay. Um. Let's see if we can get this Tesla Tower. I want to check that building out as well. Oh, shit. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. There we go. Hey, you get the timing wrong on these things. 
There is like a way timing it perfectly. Alright, let's um eat some beans. Beans heal you a little bit. They don't heal you like as much as say, you know, a medkit does, but they heal you enough. Alright, let's go over there. We've got our first anchor. You gotta be careful here, I left the freaking wipers going. See what this place yields us. Oh, we've got two towers here by the looks of it. Right, let's turn off here. That doesn't look like somewhere we can go up. I'm not seeing any kind of door on it or anything. This looks like it might be reachable though. And this is the same sort of place that we've seen before. So we could turn cogs into flares. I don't know why we'd ever do that. Aha. Uh -huh. This is what we're here for though. Uh, chemicals and gas cylinders. Hell yes. Usually more stuff in these places, though. Hmm, okay. Um. There we go. Okay, I think we got everything out of here. But definitely no way into this tower here. Big old frickin' tower. I have just a big old concrete base. There's no way in at all. The thing is, it's weird. This, there's like, get me. There's there's platforms up there indicating some kind of progression, way up or interior maybe. Hmm. Interesting. Oh, it's getting creepy around here. <laughs> <laughs> creepy okay so we got our first anchor head this head directly south get the next one and then we're back on the road for the last two oh, i'm glad we got those off-road tires i tell you oh boy we're gonna need to upgrade the engine on this thing soon i think you know as we the terrain gets even more stupid yeah we're gonna need the horsepower Alright, we're nearly at the road here. Yeah, 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 I know, you know, you got this, the car, you got this. Come on. That one of those feckin' crap things. They hear a can opener. There's the tower. Have a quick look at this house. After all, we're here, aren't we? Wow, really not much left in here at all, is there? Lim lies. There it is. All right, things are about to get real freaky. Oh shit. Oh fuck. Oh hey, hey. Okay. 
Let me back in the car. Okay. Just let me back in the car. Yeah. Now what? Oh, I mean, I let you get close to the Tesla Tower. I almost took a hit there. Oh boy. Alright, I think we're out of danger. Immediate danger, at least anyway. Wow. Okay, they're not too bad. I mean, it's bad, but it's not too bad. Oh, nice. I'm going to probably need to use a med pack here. I think it's just V, actually, to heal yourself, isn't it? Alright. The next anchor is within range of a freaking Tesla Tower. Uh, which just apparently detonated a bunch of tourists, which is always fun. Ooh, that has got a reach. Gotta wait for the next pause. And get out before the Tesla can reach you. Oh, hello, chick. Bella. Popped up hair. Wow. Thanks for coming. <laughs> Thanks for the battery. All right, one more. One more to go. And we got a storm incoming. Yeah, we have got a storm incoming. That yellow line. Yeah, yeah, I just saw it. All right, we got to go. Yep, 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 yep. All right. Oh, they really like to make you aware of that, don't they? All right, last anchor then. And then we are out of here. Come on. Yoink. Oh yeah, here we go. We are on our road out. Let's just hope we don't get stopped by something, you know, unfortunate. Oh, we are gonna be in that storm, I think. This one, the, the big yellow blob, rather than the, the main one sweeping in. Oops, sorry. Oh boy. Cabby's not happy with us, I think. Yet. There is a fuel truck. I don't have time to stop for it. We just have to rely on the fuel that we've got. We are going to get hit. Oh, come on, station wagon. Is this the best you could do? It's a little tiny, teeny little hill. Come on. That's a big freaking rock. Doris. Oh boy. We're in the storm. Right above us now. Oh god, I don't know what this is going to do to us. Donus. Windy. It's knocking the car about. It's trying to drive me off the road. Oh, it's getting squirrely. It's getting really squirrely. We're nearly out. Shit! Come on, baby. We're outside. We're out of it. Now it just, it just went the other way. Okay. We're free. We're out. <laughs> it's okay. Woo! Damn. Well. We've got all the anchor energy we need. For even the next zone. So let's go. This is the main event. Alrighty then. Here we go.
Extreme conditions. Disruptive discharge. We've got one, two, three, four, five anchors here. Um, bunch of houses and labs and stuff like that. So I don't see anything particularly out of the ordinary here. Oh, we do need more anchors though. Look, the bar on the right has moved up. Charge required. 0.5. We're yeah. Okay. Well, let's just start collecting anchors then, I guess. My hood is taking damage. Funny enough, when you crash it into trees too much, I think it damages the car. Who knew? Oh god, what is that? Something is very nearby. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I need to loot this place and go. Things sound like they are escalating quickly. That was a nice decent amount of loot though, look at that. Nice. Alright, let's go get our first anchor then. Is left. Almost directly left that way. Oh boy. Back of the tree trunks. There it is, I see it. God, there's like a Tesla barrier. The next one's very close by as well. Not quite see it from here, but it is close by. What is that? Oh fuck. I am aware. I need to get in the gal and scan this thing. Minute man. What is that? Oh, that's a link gateway. We now have enough charge to link. Oh, that's a gateway as well. It's too close. That's why it's pur purple. I forget about that every time. All right, found a new anomaly on this one. Shit, we're in a lefty-righty here. Back up a bit. I use my limb. Got rid of that thing. Sweet, that probably killed the battery a bit, didn't it? Oh man. Alright. Next one is along the road. Oh shit, I just did it again. Didn't mean to do that. I pressed shift when I didn't need to. Oh my gosh, look at that. Wow. That's some crazy shit. Oh, 
Oh my god, just the sounds, the noises, the noises of this entire area is crazy. And you know what? This is reasonably stable. For, you know, for this game. <laughs> this area is reasonably stable. Can you believe that? Absolutely nuts, right? Get some jumping then. Oh boy. This may be a uh, scoodaddle before this place gets any freaking loonier. Alright, got a house off the right. I don't think I need it. There's another there's another Arda trailer there though. So I want to kind of prioritize really. Yeah, I don't I don't really need to be in that shack right now, you know? Bye! <laughs> there's the Arda trailer off to the right there, look. Whoa, look at that place up there, that's cool. Alright, let's go. Got a trailer. Got a plasma generator, which is always nice. Another trailer. Lots of scrappy ball things here. Particularly exciting. But that's good. Boring is good. Right? I still feel myself just completely on edge all the time on this game though. Right, there's another yeah, the next anchor. And then we've got a bit of a choice. We can go get that one. We can go get that one. Hmm. I feel like going to get that one. Double backing and getting that one. Uh, I don't know. That that gateway is on top of a hill. Or at the bottom of a hill. Might be the bottom of a hill. Tunnel goes under. Right? So that road, we need to be on that road. We can't be on this road. It won't be right. We'd have to go down a huge hill. So it makes sense to be over here. Drive this road. Cut across here, maybe. Alright. Trying to plan my exit route, guys, you know? Here we go. The hell is that? Some glowy shit going on over there. Oh, I'll tell you what they are. Rogue tree stumps are back. That's, um... The job for the hoover. Have I got a hoover? I do. Lead shielding. Oh, nice. Alright, I've just got a lead platelet. Oh, that's useful. I'm glad I stopped here. The radiation is going to be a big part of later on in games. So, getting as much lead shielding and lead platelets. Oh, I think that might be useful. Alright, our next anchor is right here. We got a big radiation spike here. 2.5k. All right, let's grab this thing and go.
The radiation's kicking off now. Uh, nothing particularly exciting in between us and the next anchor in terms of what's on the map at least anyway. Um, so let's drive. We're going to go left then we're going to double back on ourselves. Hang on. I saw something in the trees. Get off my car. Where'd it go? I don't know, but I see... Um, what do they call these things? Yellow cars. They're armoured, right? Squires. They usually got good loot in them. This one looks like it's been torn to shreds. Oh, I tell you what I need to be doing here. Um, taking the armoured door. I want. I want those. We haven't unlocked armoured doors yet, so, <laughs> you know. Right, this will have to go in the side storage, I think. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yep. <laughs> so you're going to take up a bit of space. There's a panel on this thing as well. I think it's just steel, but if it's armoured, I'm going to liberate that one as well. Oh, it's armoured. Why won't it work? There we go. Oh, there goes that liberator. Some off-road tyres as well. I'll come back for those. Yes, yeah, assuming I can even fit them in the car, though, it's the problem. It's great having all this stuff. I don't think I got the storage for it. Yeah. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm afraid the tyres will have to wait. We can always craft more off roads if we need them. There's another thing back there, looks like, with the lead platelets and stuff. Check it out. Bit of casual reversing, no worries. Oh yeah. Okay. There's a lot of lead panels here. This is good. There's a lot of radiation here as well though. Alright, we've got a lot of grinding to do here. Oh my gosh. This is going to hurt us really from a radiation point of view. But let's get on with it. Oh, all this scrapping has tanked my health. I am looking pretty ropey right now. Okay, we've got some good stuff there. And we are pretty much bang out of space now. Alright, I'm going to get in the car and heal up. There's that hurt. Oh, food. That's me, 50%. More food? What does food do? 10%? 8%? Wow, okay. Let's use a first aid kit instead then. Should hopefully get me the rest of the way. Okay. This thing is going a bit wonky. Uh, now I think it's detecting some instabilities. I had to think about the map and the exit route here. I think I might as well, if I pick that anchor up there, go carry on up this road and then down this, and then do like a little spiral, you know, because that goes out to, well, that crossroads there. So if I can just get out of that crossroads there, I'm basically straight line to the exit. But there are some big Arda facilities here. These, this one here and this one here. But I mean, our loot is pretty much full already, so. I don't see any reason to go to them. We won't be able to probably won't be able to take what they've got. All right, health is back up. Car's looking okay. Let's get on with it.
seems to be an alarm going off. I don't know why. An alarm over the entire area rather than my car telling me off. I believe. More lead panels over there though. And yoink. Mine now. Thank you. We've got a storm inbound. Shit. It may have time to get one more anchor. But that storm, unless I turn around and go for the one that's behind me. Yeah. Alright. I got. I'm going to grab one more anchor. I think we can get the one down the road on the right. Let's go. We are being made to leave. Realistically. Oh, man. There's a fecking harder truck down there. Oh, God. I am pushing it. I'm getting really greedy. The greed compels me. The greed is compelling. Greed is compelling. And this is not... This is not the correct move. But look at that shit. And you freaking blame me. All right. That's an off-road tire as well. Mm, okay. All right. Fine. I'm going. I'm going. I'm going. I'm going. I'm going. I'm going. I'm sorry. Hey, come on. Come on. Come on. Oh shit! I got time for the anchor now. It's gonna be gnarly. Oh boy. Thread that needle. Come on, baby. All right. Now, Mr. Station Wagon. Don't tell me about fuel right now. I don't want anything to hear about fuel right now, okay? But I need... Oh, shit. Fuck, 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 fuck. Don't drive into a lefty-righty. I forgot about those. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know, I'm sorry. That was my mistake. I'm sorry, I know, I know. I made an error. We've got time, we've got time. No, turn off. Because... thing I want to do... Da, 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 that'll do. Grab you. Come here. Okay. We have not got a lot of time now. I don't have time for giant rogue tree trunks, sorry. Or electrical frickin' Tesla towers. Fuck. Oh, okay. Yep. Ouch. <clears throat> Let's go. We got... We got time. I'm going to go for the one... Down the bottom, back the way we came. I think that's going to give us the more time. We'll otherwise we'll be driving into a storm, I think. Uh, I don't know now. Shit, shit, there's that fucking lefty righty again. Oh my god, look at the storm move. The storm is really moving now. Oh shit. Wrong button. Wrong button again. I thought Jimmy Chef twice would turn it off. He yikes, it is really going for it now. That storm has just gone haywire. Oh, there it is. We're in it. Oh shit, we are in it. Okay. Yep. There's the there's the the portal, the thing, the the Get out of here, freaking thing. Lefty, righty. Ugh, shit. You're okay, car. You're okay. It wasn't a bad one. It wasn't a bad one. Calm down. 
The radio's going ape, sh ape shit. Come on. Oh boy. Oh boy. What is that? Weird spiking thing on the floor. There's just... It's all gone a bit wonky, but we're fine. Nailed it. <laughs> 4.6 stable energy. Nice. I, I owe you an apology. Yeah, you do. I screwed up. I nearly yeah. got you killed. The things I used to calculate as easily <sighs> as turning a screwdriver, they're foggy now. The numbers don't work themselves out like they used to. I haven't been myself for a long time, but I haven't needed to be. It's been me and this cursed place I created and nothing else for decades. But now knowing that whatever caused the mass hallucination is still out there. I need to know what it is, and why the remnants are connected to it. Francis was right about the remnant and the mass hallucinations paired signals. If we can get them together, maybe they'll cancel each other out and you'll be free. It's a shaky theory at best, but it's the only lead we've got for now. You can do nothing and twiddle your thumbs until that remnant drives you mad. Or, if you're willing to work with me, I'll give you the best chance to survive this thing. Think it through. And fix up your car while you're doing it. You'll need to for whatever you decide from here. Stabilizing the way through. Return to Sierra. Go back to Sierra, huh? Isn't that the town? With Cabby? Oh, crikey. Okay, well, there we go. That was um, actually a pretty good run. That's our loot from that run. That's pretty tasty. Let's not forget that we got an armoured panel and an armoured door out of that as well. So, we did quite well. And all in all, the car is in not bad shape at all. A lot of these panels and doors I can replace with the ones that are now fully regenerated in our Regenerotron. So, yeah. I'd say, all in all, not bad. Not bad at all. In any case, I do hope you've enjoyed. Thank you very much for joining me on this incredibly weird journey. And hopefully I'll see you next time. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.